Anyahaso. Hi guys. So I am finally home from work. Um, I went right from, uh, I literally went from like Clifton Park and stuff at 5 o'clock in the morning with my best friend um, and drove to take her home and then to work and stuff. So I've had like four hours of sleep. So be with me on this one a little bit. Also filming it on my phone and everything. So um, if I'm looking, I'm looking at the camera. The camera's here, but I'm looking at my screen. Uh, anyway, last night Vamps was so freaking awesome. Um, they were so freaking sweet. Oh my god, like I can't express how sweet these guys were. Um, uh, the thing is, they uh, unlike Andy, unlike the Andy Black concert where they had us all in line and stuff, like you know, coming all at the same time, they had us all stop at the door and they had us go in and at one at a time. And they had us take literally taking a picture with them, and then you know me talking to them for like a second, for like a minute or so, and then um, then them giving um, if I remember this right, so if I remember, I'm trying to visualize my man. So um, hide hide and hide and blah, 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 English um, hide ended up giving each of the each of the people um, this, which is actually both autographed. Um, so the drawing that I had created that you saw on my Instagram. I ended up giving to them um, because I couldn't get autographed and stuff just because of time. So Hyde ended up giving, handing me this, and um, I think it's actually in my bag. It's in my bag. Um, I should have taken it out before <laughs> the video, but um, I see if it's in this bag. I think. Oh, there it is. Got it. So then they ended up then um. Then Kaz, Kaz ended up handing me this, which was my laminate, and so both sides. It says Underworld on it. Um, so it was so awesome. Um, me, of course, um, I, you know, walked up being my, you know, normal shy self, but so because I'm finally getting to meet that person. Um, I, the thing is, like, they, Lisa was behind me, so I had to go at this alone. <laughs> um... I, it was very interesting going at this alone and stuff, uh, but they were so sweet, you know, I just, I, it was funny because I, it was funny because, <laughs> it was funny because I ended up grabbing my hand and stuff to shake my hand, but I didn't like realize it and stuff, my brain wasn't comprehending it, but he was so sweet, he smiled, he was so sweet, um, then I turned to Kazan's Kaz and stuff, and he was such a sweetheart, you know, I got both of them smile, which is fun, which is always a plus for me when I can make the rock star with a, with a meeting smile, which is funny. Um, but it was so sweet. Um, I love the energy from them. They they hit some, you know, good. I like the vibes that I got from them. Um, I I just naturally feel like I was naturally drawn to them, but that's just you know, my senses, my my senses and stuff are. Um, but it was so awesome. They were just I I. It went by so fast, like it just felt like it went by so fast. Um, so then when I got out, I realized I couldn't get an autograph and stuff because I got the autograph pick thing. So um, I ended up calling the one guy, one blonde haired guy that they had with them, over the other blonde haired guy, not 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 Hyde, um, and the other blonde haired guy and stuff. And I'm like, and then um, he ended up pointing over to me. They, the guy told the guys to look over to me, and he ended up giving being able to give them the autograph, the picture that I drew on my Instagram. So you can go check it out on my Instagram. It's the picture that I drew for them. Um, but they loved it and they smiled. And they were so happy about it. They were so grateful. Um, but it was so nice. Um, it's kind of funny because Kaz is taller and stuff than me. But if you look at the picture, which I posted on my Instagram, um, it's weird because Hyde is supposed to be shorter than me, but he was the same. He was taller than me. Um, because he's like five. I think he's like five one, five two, and I'm five three. So it's kind of and no, obviously knew he had lists and stuff. So it's kind of interesting. It was kind of funny because I'm like thinking, wait. You're supposed to be shorter than me, but that would have been weird. So, <laughs> um, but also I'm, I'm wearing boots, so it's kind of one of the things. But it was fun and awesome. When they got on stage, it was just, it was so awesome actually hearing Hyde's voice live. I'm just like, oh. I was just like, oh my God. Like his voice, hearing it live and just hearing him hit notes. And I'm just like, oh, oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god. And just seeing Kaz just like on that guitar, I'm just like, ugh, ugh, now I'm warm. So, 
it was just, it was awesome, and I just, I can't, like, I can't comprehend, I can't just, like, realize in my head that I actually got to meet them. Like, holy shit, I actually got to meet them. Oh my god. So, it was so awesome, and it was just a great experience. I do wish, the only thing complication was it was cold, and I was wearing a skirt, me and Lisa are both wearing a skirt. Um, the only complication for me was when we got there, um, Star Set um, and um, I Prevail all had already their lines and stuff. Literally, us people had VIP for vamps and stuff. They did not fucking know what they were doing until like closer to what, closer to letting us in um, for our VIP thing. So that the disorganizedness was mm, a little bit annoying. Um, and then, um, unlike the end of Black concert, I couldn't bring my bag in, so I had to take my bag back out. But it was kind of cool, like the fans and stuff there. There was a few Asian fans and stuff. They actually um, had a big poster and stuff that everybody could sign. And then they gave us little, um, like little things of uh, gum and stuff. And they had like thank you for writing a nice, a nice message to the amps and stuff. And they had a picture on the back. It was pretty cool. So I had that in my thing. I will post. I put. I posted that on my. Um, I will post that picture on my Instagram so you guys can see that. And it was a really cute little fan thing that they made. Um, also, one of the other uh, Japanese fans also had. Um, Took um, Polaroids of um, of you know pairs and stuff. So me and Lisa took ours together because we're best friends, we're sisters and stuff. So they took a Polaroid of us, and um, we got to write a nice message to them. So Vamps is gonna have all the Polaroids and stuff of all the fans um, that were there that were there for the VIP things. So it was pretty cool, you know. Just it made me feel like I, with the K-pop stuff, like the kind of like things that they do for Vamps for the bands and stuff. So, especially since Vamps is such a, I mean, the thing is, the thing that I'm going to, I will go on my rant and stuff in a, in a, in a little bit, um, but Vamps, to me, like, it was, they had more of the close camaraderie fans and stuff, because I made tons and tons of friends in line, um, because you got to think about it right here, Vamps sells out arenas in Japan all the time, they like, they sell out like that, like, I know friends who live over there, um, <clears throat> They sell out like that. Like, they can sell them out in a heartbeat. And unlike a lot of concerts here that can't sell out as fast, but they sell them. They sell a big, giant, like, Madison Square Garden, like, Madison Square Garden arenas. So this was a smaller stage for them, but trust me, they put on a freaking show with what they had. Um, but it was awesome. I had the guitarists kept smiling at me and everything, so it was pretty awesome. Um, but it just, it felt so surreal, you know. Yeah, especially hearing Calling live, I was like, oh, oh my god, I was like, oh my god, that's all, that's all, oh my god. But it was so much fun, like, I I definitely could not have expected anything anything less than that. Um, but the thing that, okay, time for a little rant time. And this is what, this is what pissed me off and stuff when I was at the concert. I got coughed out of my mouth. Oh. Um, me and my friend Lisa, best friend Lisa, were um, right in the front barricade and stuff when we were on the corner. There were these three girls and stuff that were right in the front, too. Okay, whatever. The thing is, I noticed they were I Prevail fans. And I, I, I mean, I've just become a fan of I Prevail and stuff, so I'm not knocking them, and I'm not gonna knocking any fandom. The thing that pissed me off... Ah. Coughed up. Eh. Okay. The thing that pissed me off the most is I saw them doing, like, this and mocking Vamps when they, right before they, right before they came out. And the thing is, they know, I think they, I don't, I think they noticed that I was a fan of them because I kept giving them a death glare every time I'd see them do that. And then during the concert, I saw them Snapchatting and they're writing stuff and laughing on it. So I didn't know what they wrote and stuff, but it looked not nice. The thing is, I don't give a flying fuck about what band you're there for. It's kind of cool if you're there for like the band I'm seeing or whatever, Vamps or whatever. But don't freaking mock a band. Do not mock a band. And especially when you're mocking, when I knew for a fact that those, that those girls, those children, we're not going to call them girls because they're not girls. They were so freaking immature. They're not girls. They're freaking children. We're mocking vamps and stuff. I'm sorry, but I can 99% bet you, I can bet you $100 that I Prevail would not be able to sell out a whole giant Madison Square Garden or re size arena, especially the arenas they have over in Japan, and Vamps could. I would time it. Be like, 
Go! Sell tickets to sell the whole arena in Japan. I prevail? No. I'm sorry, but I, I know they're a big band and stuff, and I'm, I'm a fan of them too, so that's the thing. But you're comparing them to a Japanese rock band who can sell out arenas and stuff in a heartbeat. The thing is, I don't give a crap. I don't give a flying fuck if you're a racist or anything. Do not mock a band. And especially, the thing I did is I could see them doing it. So you know what I did? I screamed louder just to piss them off. Because I'm like, fine, you want to start mocking my a band that I love, especially for their race? Then I'm going to scream louder just to make sure your ears hurt. I'm going to piss you off and I'm going to scream as loud as I can. Not also because I was freaking out too because they were right there in front of me. But that pisses me off. If you don't like a band, don't worry about it. The first time you mock a band or any kind of group for their, for their, for their race, whether it's Spanish or Indian or black or whatever, or Korean, or any kind of Asian, that's a deal breaker for me. So I would, I would have liked to see I Prevail. We didn't, we see, we left after, after Vamps and stuff. But when I was walking out, I made sure I said loud enough, I'm sorry, but I can't stand next to these racist bitches anymore. So I was like, I was pissed. And I made sure that they could, they could tell that I was. And I didn't give a fuck what they were saying because I was already done with Eric. I was already done with them. I saw Vamps. I got to see him. I got to stand in front. I got to see him. I got the guitars to smile at me, and I got to see the wonderfulness of Vamps. I didn't give a crap. I was if I could stand if I stood next to him any longer, I probably would have. I probably would have elbowed him in the face, and got myself kicked out, because I was not happy. That's just leave your racistness at home. Do not bring it to a band. Do not bring it to a concert where you see other people like the different bands. Do you really think your band would want you? being racist towards a band that's on tour with them? No. That's ridiculous. That That's ridiculous. Don't act like a freaking five-year-old. Anyway. Anyway, besides that, um, besides those three racist little bitches and stuff, I thought it was a great concert, and I got to meet... I got to meet Hyde and Kaz, and they were so freaking sweet. They were just as sweet as I thought they would be. And... It still doesn't feel real that I had met them. And I have to keep looking back at the pictures because I'm like, ah, I got to actually meet them. So, yeah, if you get to check out Vamps and stuff, the Japanese rock band, not Vamps, whatever, American bullcrap, whatever that is. Um, if you can check out Vamps and stuff, their new album just came out, so go check that out. Um, they actually just did a song and stuff with Chris Motionless. Um, so go check that out. Also, if you can go check out Devil Side, which is another song from Vamps and stuff. Devil's Eyes is one of the ones I freaking love. And Calling is another one too. Go check them out and you guys will love them so much I you won't regret it. I will be posting my videos and stuff from the concert and stuff um, very soon um, in the next week and stuff. Um, but I will, I, I had posted, I post some, I'll, obviously the pictures on my, on my personal Facebook page, but I will be bits and pieces posting them on my Instagram. Um, if you guys want to see them, comment below, and I will send you guys a link to the the, the album on my my Facebook page, um, and I will be so happy to tell you that. So yes, if you guys want to check out the links in the bottom box, I posted a few Snapchats and stuff from last night. I didn't get that many, but I got a lot more videos, which I'll be posting and stuff. Um, go like and subscribe and follow and comment and everything. My cosplay, my Facebook page, my Snapchat, my Instagram, my DeviantArt, um, my everything else. My everything else. My Twitter. Um, also, go like this video. Give it lots and lots of likes, maybe, and stuff. Show your love for Vamps and stuff. And for my wonderful experience and stuff with Vamps and the concert. And also, go click subscribe. You're going to miss the videos and stuff that I post and stuff from the Vamps concert. And also, my future videos and stuff that I will be doing. I will, I'm so excited to show you guys some more and stuff coming up. I love you guys so much. Annyeong!